Hey, hey, hey. Just working on a restock of my popular French market. <laughs> Haven't done videos in ages because most of it's just restocking and I figure why do you guys want to see restocking soaps? <laughs> Like, well, if I don't do something, I'm never getting back on. <laughs> All right, let me grab my lie just a second. Oh, I got it. Chillin'. Right. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Now, normally, I put um, rose petals on the top of this, but I cannot seem to find them today. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're going to keep it very simple. So no, sorry, no fabulous new techniques, no astounding designs, just soap. I have the worst blister right on that part of my thumb and of course the band-aid's constantly popping God, it's so annoying of all places to be <laughs> just one second I want a different pink Ooh, I'm gonna make a mess I always do with this stuff Oh, for Pete's sake. I have been on a crafting binge the last couple of months, I swear. I've been doing, like, tons of paper crafts and decoupage and all kinds of stuff like that. <laughs> titanium and of course oh did I not do that there it is a new trick. Every time I do my titanium, I get these little chunks, no matter how much I've pre-blended in glycerin or oil or all that. And I realize it's always the parts that are just not quite fine enough. So I'm doing it like dusting through a tea strainer. So I'm not getting any chunks. Now, let's see what drastic color it turns. Mm -hmm. 
Hold off on this part and let it thicken up so I can get a nice peaky top going. Oh, you guys want to see something? Those are my Facebook saw it, but this is my Day of the Dead, De los Muertos. Muertas, I should say for her. Um, hand carved soap sculpture. 
she's been painted and fabric flowers added to her hair and but the eyes are carved out the nose the mouth each tooth on the back you can see I've even done the cranium work and beveled out the stitches in the bones and up on the skull and carved out her little hearts isn't she pretty? She's very pretty. She's made out of um, pure olive oil soap. She's a Castile. Ha! Get it? Castile soap. Dios de los muertos. Altar item. <laughs> and she's very, very lightly scented in Bite Me. <laughs> Little play on stuff there. Anyway. Very cool, very cool. I love her. What have we got here? Oh, it's still thin. Oh, let's see. Okay. I'm going to let this set up for a little bit. Then we'll be back. Toodles. Okay. There we go. So, I plopped the purple into the pink. And now, I'm just going to give it kind of a little hoo doo doo in the bowl, la 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 la. And then floop, floop. Alrighty. Grab our spoon. Kind of mix it up a little bit there. All right. Time to plop it fast. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do do. How much is that dog in the window? Erf, erf. Do, 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 wiggly tail. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me where that came from. I have no idea. Oh. Again, this is one of the few floral uh, scents that I really like. It's got a hint of rose to it, which normally I can't stand. But, they blended it with iris blossoms, gardenia, and magnolias, which are two of my absolute favorite flowers. So I love this soap. And it's one of my best sellers, both here and at the market. It's one of, oops, it's one of those that um, once a woman picks up, she just, she's just like, wow. Really? I didn't think I'd like that, but that's really nice. Kind of soaps. And yeah, I just did that with my bare fingers. Get over it. Move on. Move on. Okay. Last, every last little schnookin' bits. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Now, oh, what do I want to do with you besides smack you around and call you Lucy? <laughs> okay. Whoops, not that far. 
suppose I should see how far you guys can see this, huh? Do, 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 do. You know, it cracks me up. Um, I get soapers all the time that are asking, how do I get those amazing peaks? Well, wait for your soap to get stiff. And then stick a spoon in it. <laughs> see? Look. Ooh. That's so complicated, isn't it? And I, I'm a master of technical ability. <laughs> I know, I'm being such a smart ass today. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Alright, well, that's not working. I need to smush it down some more because now I've got it down on that side and now it's uneven. So share the soap. Share the soap, man. Alright. Do, do, do. Okay. So see, the thicker it gets, the more like craters and holes you can make. Fabu, Fabu. Okay. Now, what do I want to do to it, guys? Should I give it a little dustage? See, normally I have my flower petals on it, and it's not quite so peaky and all that. What shall I do? Oh, well, camera's about to fall off the edge of the sink. Let's see. Hello. Okay. Oh. Shall we diamond dust it? You know, glitter is always a crippling fallback. Hmm. I just love it so much. Do I want to cave to the glitter monster? Oh, what the hell. <laughs> We're going for it. We are giving in to the glitter monster. La la la. La la la. This is too pretty not to love. How can you not love glitter? Oh. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. We won't go too crazy. Just enough to give it a little shimmer. A little sparkle. Okie dokie! French market! I'll be back to cut. <laughs>